Prozac Week 2. Obtain the needed starting materials and the oil product from Prozac Week 1. Measure out 1 milliliter of 4 chlorobenzotrifluoride. Measure out 5 milliliters of dimphilistamide. To a 250 milliliter round bottom flask, add the reduced product, the stir bar, and the two solvents just measured. Carefully retrieve one molar potassium from the bottle and then measure out four milliliters of potassium in total. While stirring, add the potassium to the reaction. Set up the distillation apparatus and heat the reaction to 110 degrees Celsius for 30 minutes. After the reaction is heated, perform vacuum distillation to remove most of the solvent from the reaction. Measure out 15 milliliters of brine and 15 milliliters of diethyl ether. Once the reaction has cooled to room temperature, add the brine and the ether to the solution and swirl to remove any solid. Add the mixture to a separatory funnel, shake with the cap on, and vent about three times. You'll be able to see the two layers. Separate the organic and the aqueous layers into two separate beakers. Extract the aqueous layer once more with 10 milliliters of diethyl ether. Remove the aqueous layer. Combine the two organic layers. Place the organic layer in the separatory funnel. Wash the organic layer with 10 milliliters of brine and discard the aqueous layer. Drain the organic extract into a clean beaker and dry with magnesium sulfate. Decant the solution. Measure out 0.22 grams of oxalic acid. Measure out 5 milliliters of ethanol. Dissolve the acid and the ethanol in a 100 milliliter beaker with a magnetic stir bar. While vigorously stirring, add the organic extract dropwise. It can take up to 10 minutes, but a salt will precipitate out. For the waste disposal, place the waste in the appropriate containers.